Hello everyone and welcome back for our next episode in our Dishonored 2 playthrough. Oh, it was so nice to finally get to stick something at Delilah in that last episode. Disconnected Brianna, apparently through her connection to the Void and I guess somehow connected to Delilah herself. We just left off where we have made it back onto the shore and we are getting ready to go explore the Dust Mines. Now this is a place we've been hearing about a lot through this playthrough and we got to make it all the way down to, it sounds like a bunker to find out if the Stilton guy, I think his name was, is still alive or not and we got to get some information that's hopefully going to help us figure out how to defeat delilah even though she's technically been called immortal if this is your first time finding the channel welcome hope you have an awesome time if you do have a great time it sure would help me out if you consider hitting that subscribe button but without any further delay let's get back in here start exploring the dust mines and hopefully keep that needle from tipping over into the lethal side because whoo i'm close <laughs> okay welcome back everybody Oh, I need to center myself, find the zen, and stay as quiet as possible as I navigate these mines. My goodness, I'm so stinking close to falling over onto the lethal side of things. I don't know, can we push it back? Like, is it cumulative with what you've done before? Or, like, I'm curious if... I have to be really good and not kill anybody from here through the rest of the way and my needle will stay right where it's at. Or as I continue to clear stages and I do better, can I scoot it back the other way? That's what I'm not sure about. Unfortunately, it's been a while since I had a nice clean playthrough on a level, so I don't know. It's only been going one direction for us for a while now. But we're going to try to do something about that in this stage. All right, I'm excited for this area though. This is a place we've been hearing a lot about. We, we heard about this when we were, you know, uh, coming after Hypatia. Um, we've heard it mentioned a few times. Some of the, the wealthy civilians we've come across have talked about how they're making lots of money because they're basically <laughs> lowering the pay for these people and still increasing the demand. So it'll be interesting to see what we're in store for here. I'm going to try to be extra cautious. Okay, it says we can go that way. What do we got up here? Oh. Okay, well, nice to know I got a health flask really close. Should I need it? Uh, raw. Okay, yep. I take. Uh, it looked a little different, so I wasn't sure if that was it or not. Windmill operation. Section 21, regular maintenance. Check wind speed. Windmill will only turn... With sufficient wind to danger high winds may overcharge security system uh, i feel like we've read something similar to this already How? yeah yeah we did yeah we read about the windmills a while back i remember those okay well somebody's just been sitting down here enjoying some tea would you like a pot of tea while you're down in section d <laughs> like my little rhyme i did right there Food ticket program is canceled. Jerks. Okay. I apologize up front. We are probably going to be looking at this through a yellow screen most of this stage as I'm going to try to be extremely cautious. Oh my, look at this layout. Whoa. That's amazing. What are those tubes? Well, they can't be transporting stuff with those. Hmm. Wow, look. Some of these windmills are like real small. And then they got gigantic ones. Like, look at the size of the buildings down there. And then look at the size of that windmill. My. My, my, my. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. I thought I heard a voice once already. Yeah, watch out, rats. Oh, Megan Foster's up here already waiting for me. Yo, that is a beautiful looking building. Oop, look at there. I see them. Lieutenant 
got hit by an overseer grenade, and that was it. She was one of the Duke's distant cousins or something. Mmm, shit. Let's hope they do enough damage to each other so the fight goes out of them. And that won't happen until someone manages to kill Carlo or Vice Overseer Ooh. Burn. And I don't see you or me beating a path to the Crone's hand, or up to the temporary stronghold the Abbey's got set up. I made that jump pretty good, didn't I? Total non-detection. I'm a ninja. Absolute ninja. You guys are going to be amazed. Hopefully, I'm going to be amazed. <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous, guys. You saw how close I was. So close to falling. At this point, I played through so much of the game now and stayed on the side that I want. I like, I'm like, I want to make it. I'm too close to want to fail now. I mean, I don't think I'm close to finishing the game, but I was like, I've put in so much work at this point. Anything in there? Nope. That I, I don't want to mess it up. So we're going to do our best to just completely avoid people. It's going to be tricky if I need like keys and stuff. It means I'm going to have to try to do some pickpocketing. Looting may not be as thorough on this stage. I don't know. We're going to see how this goes. I'm going to try. How did I get stuck out here? I'm tired of cleaning silver dust out of my ears. I'm not close enough to see where he's at. He above me. Grand Palace. Oh. That's an assignment. All apples and slippers. There's two of them. I can just barely see him. These damn windmills in my sleep. Not a fan of the windmills, I guess. Is there a place to jump across to? How about this over here? Something stinks around here. Dust Wait a minute. From the mines. <laughs> that. Oh. Uh. Oh, there's dust blowing out there. Oh, did I hit him? What's going on here? Uh, let's go with a stun mine. Please come in here. Did they not come through the door? Oh, here comes one. <laughs> I don't know. That probably counts as a detection because. I wonder who that was. What? Now that thing should trigger more than once, right? If somebody else comes. There he is. Come on, a little closer. Yeah, baby. Now, let's pull back the bodies. Stick him in here. Come on, grab him. <laughs> Hopefully that was considered low chaos tactics there. I don't know for sure. So the dust was blowing through there for a minute, I guess. Is that something I got to be mindful of? Like every once in a while, that'll blow through, and it's gonna be real difficult to uh, to see. I mean, that might work to my advantage, but I don't know. Can I go? Nope. Okay. Well, we got those two. Can't pick that up. Mind collapse. Uh, actually, we've already read that one. Our thoughts and go out to the family. Yeah, we've already read about the mind collapse. Not for that thing. You can tell he's no good just by looking at his shoes. I can shut that down somehow, right? Oh, there were boxes here. I was thinking about jumping across here, but I, that other guy that was patrolling, I didn't know if he was like able to see across here. Okay. 
Alright. I think that was probably powering that wall of lights that we saw. If I had to guess. My goodness, it sure looks like I get get all the way up there, doesn't it? Oh no. I'll be right back. Wait, I'll look over there. They saw me? Oh great. If they come up here, they're gonna see those guards for sure. <clears throat> the sound seems a little off. Like this sounded like a character that's like right here. You hear that? He sounds like he's here with me, like on my level. I don't see anybody out here. Like, I mean, I see him, but there's nobody up here at my level. Really weird. So they saw me up here from the ground. I didn't think they, like, looked up this high. Call it help. <laughs> hmm. Something alerted them. I still wish I could drop, like, stun mines from up here. No, I'm sure. I right, see this guy here. Uh, that's where I need to go. Does he turn around? I need to pee. Dang, yes. Okay. Let's go over here. I don't think I saw anybody down this way. Ooh, what are you guys flying over here about? Goody over here? Nope. Oh, that guy moved. That's the first time I saw him move. Okay. I'm going to wait for him to go. Oh, I think that guy walked up there. I think you walked up there and found the bodies. Okay, I'm just trying to walk past him. This is off now, right? Ooh, look at that. I left three people, y'all. I left three people. You proud of me? Okay. Because there's one nearby. I see that. Okay. I thought Megan Foster was supposed to be like right over here. Okay. Megan's talking to somebody. Must be a way to like drop down from above, maybe. Falling back to Dunwall stirred up memories. Things I'd almost forgotten. I broke my back in the silver mines. Okay, I'm assuming that's her. Yep, there she is. Hello, Megan. Hello. I've been doing reconnaissance. Talking to people. The overseers and the howlers have divided up the district. Just ahead is neutral territory where no one will harass you. But further on, the howlers and the overseers both have boundaries set up. And beyond those points, they'll attack you on sight. Aramis Stilton is the real goal. Sokolov said you had an idea. Yes. I believe that if you take out Paolo or Vice Overseer Byrne, the other one will grant you safe passage and will help you get inside Stilton's home. Neutralize either one of them and bring him to the other. What else do you know that might help me? Byrne is protected by the Overseers. Paolo has the Howlers, but I think he's also got some kind of black magic charm. Oh. They say he's got to die twice before the sun sets, or he can't be killed. Good luck with that. So it sounds like I might want to go the other way. Let's see. Is it going to list uh, both of them on here? Mm, I don't like the idea of having to try to kill that guy twice. <laughs> uh, let's see. Overseer and Howers will attack on site in their territory. Okay. I think... We're going to try to go this route. 
that's my that's my current plan. We'll see. Okay, let's finish exploring this little area. See if we can find a way down to that rune that was supposed to be below us. I'll take those, thank you. Okay. So she said up ahead is neutral territory. They won't attack me. I, I get nervous when they say that because it's like as soon as I cross over into an area that's not or if they see me past a barrier that's not I feel like I get in trouble for that. Take a view. My. Look at that. That is so amazing. Okay. Um, I must have to come in from the other side. Oh, hello there. This is the Duke of Sirkonus. Been told that people are complaining about dust from the mines falling on the city. Yes, war is expensive. You may not be aware that our silver mines are operating past full capacity in order to fund our conflict against the Northern Isles. That's not dust. It's the blood of our enemies. <laughs> I didn't know that was going to work. I was listening to that guy. And then I got distracted. There we are. Okay. Anything else in here we're picking up? United Miners, Miners, <laughs> Miners, Miners of Karnaka. Meeting every fourth day. Open discussion, fundraising for the miners, widows, and orphans. Do you have a son, a husband, or father working in the mines? Do you want to know what's really going on down there? Would you something spread word about the horrible conditions under which our loved ones are laboring, is what I'm guessing that says. All right. So, neutral territory. The old duke penned a medal on my father and sent him off to Dunwall. I'm assuming maybe just this space here. Okay, so here's where I get to make a choice. That's the overseer. That must be the other Apollo or whatever. Jemmy's sister says he can beat any lock in the city. I'm not sure why Stilton's house needed to be shut up tight like this. But what do you think? Can you crack it? Give me a minute. Durante knows how to get in here. Paolo had him feeding old Stilton or watching him. I was going to pay him off for the secret, but Durante got beat down by the overseers and taken away. I don't even understand what this is. I don't see any seams. Jimmy's sister says it's a gimmick, like he wore it a real locksmith who made it. No, this was built by Kieran Jindosh. Scary smart. He's the one who made the clockwork soldiers for the Duke. So can you open it? Maybe just solve it? No, can't do either. It's a lock designed by a man who creates machines that kill people. You can keep your money, I'm not touching it. Uh, <laughs> never mind. Maybe another time. Or not. Let's go. I want to see this door. I'm just gonna let them walk out. I think the storm's passed. I wonder what happens if I'm out there when it's storming. Oh my goodness! Look at this. It's like a code. We'll have to figure out the combination. That is serious. Jindosh Riddle. Ooh. Oh my goodness, what is this? At the dinner party where Lady Winslow, Dr. Marcola, Countess Conte, Madame Nat Natisu, and Baron Finch, the woman sat in a row. They all wore different colors, and Dr. Marcola wore a jaunty green hat. Barnes Finch was on the far left, next to the guest wearing a purple jacket. The lady in the blue sat left of someone in white. I remember that blue outfit because the woman spilled her whiskey all over it. The traveler from Dunwall was dressed entirely in red when one of the dinner guests bragged about her snuff tin. 
The woman next to her said they were finer in Dunwall, where she lived. So Countess Conte showed off a prized war medal, at which the lady from Freyport scoffed, saying it was no match for her ring. Someone else carried a valuable bird pendant, and when she saw it, the visitor from Debakva next to her almost spilled her neighbor's rum. Madame Natisu raised her absin, uh, absin, I don't know, uh, some sort of drink, I guess, in toast. The lady from Balaton, full of wine, jumped up onto the table, falling on the guest in the center seat, spilling the poor woman's beer. Then Lady Winslow captivated them all with a story by her wild youth and Kanaka. In the morning, there were four heirlooms under the table, the snuff tin, diamond, the ring, and the bird pennant. But who owns each? Oh my goodness. Wow. So these are the names, and if you can figure out who has which. Now, do you have to have them in order also? I don't know why they would have all the who was on the left, who was in the center kind of thing, unless the order also mattered. Wow. So, is this just a giant safe? I'm kind of curious if this is... Mission clue. The overseers have captured someone named Durante who knows the combination to the Jindosh lock. Investigate the overseer's outpost. Okay, okay. So if we go to him, which is the one I wanted to go to anyways, he could just give us the answer. All right, we're going to try that versus me trying to solve this riddle all on my own. Because I could easily spend this entire episode just using paper and pencil trying to figure that out. Okay. Came to see the infamous Jindosh lock, did you? Good luck with that. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> this door was sealed by order of the Duke. He had that Kirin Jindosh build the special lock. So you don't like him too much, huh? Read the silver spike. Oh, yeah, yeah, we read that one. Okay. So we want the overseer. Pay what you owe. Any windows or anything up above to go into? Look at that structure. That's amazing. Okay. Right there. I don't see anything open, so we must have to go in first. Oh boy. A bottle of... Let's see. A bottle of... Orban rum for each overseer mask. Help thugs like the Howlers, or the Zealots from the Abbey. I just don't know. Well, I know which one I plan on doing. Oh boy. Okay, let's go up. Oh, okay, so there's a ledge here I could go across. I wonder why they're called the Howlers. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, so Conan songs. We've read that. We we've read them. I don't sing them though. What's out here? It's another way to get through. Okay. Let's go across here first, I guess. Uh, there's no, like, ledge to walk across to go that way. Much sleepy. I've got to get to bed earlier. Oh, too much lately. Okay, seriously growling. Oh, here we got somebody walking up. Still taste that hagfish. Maybe she's right. I could clean my teeth once in a while. Body where? It's not from me. I'm going to be the first to show him what's what. They must not be talking about me. Well, one guy was walking this way. Hmm. Let's go with this. Good. Fly up there. Fly on up there. How dare you? Okay. It 
looked like there was a rune or something in this area. So the only reason I was kind of scoping this out. Back this way. This one I can reach. Oh, let's try to break that apart. Nice. Come to me. That's two. I think I got five runes I hadn't used at the moment. Kind of saving them until I come across something I really want to get at the moment. If I found a charm that I would love to stack, I would probably... Got something on his arm there. See? Oh, he is on the outside. Must be a storm coming. So that's what that horn is. It's kind of let me know there's a storm coming. I wonder if I could get through without being seen. I still haven't gotten to see what it's like to be out there. Oh, it's blocked from the outside. I have to break those boards. Okay. I was going to try to run across there real quick because I didn't think they'd be able to see me. So funny. That's a uh, health. Yep, I don't need that. Oop. Apparently, I've kind of crossed over. Which dead at dog's age you go? Maybe before we were born. Oh. Something's going on. Is right. All right. Well, I'm already in here. I might as well. Scope the place out. If there's any more goodies worth picking up. I want to go the other direction, but at the moment, I haven't found the path that I'm supposed to take to try to get there. Aha. Thank you. I was kind of hoping I'd find a sink. It's full. That was worth it. Can I open this one? Oh. It is kind of weird that huge, like, bellowing horn sound that comes out right before the storm. Oh. Uh. Let's see where this leads. Where can I get to from here? I feel like I should be able to do some. Oh. Oh, there's somebody over there. My sleep darts. Oh, there's another one. Oh, are these, uh, like the walker ones that are all into trying to protect these guys? And that symbiotic situation. I love the sound that makes, too. It's so satisfying. And, oh, you know what? There might be some bottles I can use now. Save myself a couple darts. Maybe. I have no idea where I'm at at the moment. I'm just exploring. Trying to keep from being spotted. <laughs> Although I guess technically I just got spotted. Nest keeper. That's what they were calling him. Mm. Come on. Something explosive in the area, right? 30 bucks on the counter. I'll take that. Hmm. I'll take this here too. Thank you. Man, this looks like a bar. I am I guess maybe it's more of like a lab. I'm sure I'd find some kind of explosive jar or something I could use. All right, this one I can reach. Those things are definitely... I'm glad somebody told me. They're like, you know, you really can just like swing at those things to take them out. Thanks for that, because they're not near as scary as I thought they were going to be. What we read... 
in those first couple episodes made it sound like these things were an absolute terror. Don't even bother trying to enter their rooms, you know, that sort of thing. But you want to die. Doctor's accounting book. Mr. Acosta. Symptoms. Acute shortness of breath. Persistent rattle in left lung. Ooh. You want to rattle in the lung. Remedy. Recommended inhalation of vapor... Vaporated soil fluids to clear lung obstruction. Followed by a mixture of ice and salt applied at both temples to relieve headache. Payment coupons from Santiago Fisheries. Probably two week two weeks worth of fish. So are these people that are probably like experiencing stuff due to the 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 dust mind? I'm assuming. Anything flammable? Pear soda. Hmm, it's a beautiful looking bottle. Look at them rats. I better pick you up. They might try to take you out. Oh! <laughs> Sorry about that. I threw too hard. Okay, just... Oh, I did. <laughs> Third time's the charm. I promise. Let's try this way. Oh, that's for your own protection. <laughs> You'll thank me later. Send me a bill for all the broken bones. Okay. Definitely, there's... Ooh, some more sleep darts. Thank you. I always get excited when I find sleep darts. Okay. Anybody else? I'll make sure I'm not going to, like, alert anybody by going after this. I am the dust storm. Oh, there's a lot in this one. Okay, that's probably enough of them. That is nuts. Look at that. You can see. Okay, it doesn't look like it hurts me. Ooh. A lot of people down there. Okay. If there's anything else in the area be gotten. I got here another flask I can't use. Ooh, got somebody over here. Yeah, they're dead. Okay. I guess I've explored it all. I'm kind of all turned around though. I don't know which way I am. So am I going through one territory to get to the other territory? Is that kind of what's going on here? Only time it feels right is after about three of them rum things. <laughs> three of them rum things. Hopefully there's nobody in here. Oh, there is right there. <gasps> Dude, like, <laughs> face planted as soon as I shot him with that. Ouch. I might have been able to sneak up on him. He was kind of in the open here, but... Try and play it safe. I don't see anybody else showing up, but I'm bringing them over here just just in case. All right. So far, so good. Does this keep going up? It does keep going up. Oh, actually, well, it does. Used to. Not so much anymore. Oh, wow. They look like they're playing instruments. Okay, there's the overseer's outpost. There's the saloon. I kind of really want to go for the outpost. We're going to see if we can just keep working our way there, I guess, through the, the tops. Are we near something? That. Oh, come on. Heard me through the floor that far away. Oh boy. Whoop. Uh, let's 
All that work. But you get hearing me all the way from like three stories down. What's up with that? I guess it just means I'm not allowed to run because people can hear me from a long ways away. There you go. I brought you some company. Well, I'm glad that I, I managed to take her out. She didn't even get to spot me. So hopefully that helps. I'm not allowed to run. Just have to remind myself of that. Okay. Anybody else? Oh, there it is. I think it's a shrine. I think I see two. Okay. It's pretty clear. This must be Paolo's place. Oh. I'm taking his picture. The Abbey of Everman. We've read that one more than one occasion. Uh, Paolo's concerns. Mindy, be on your toes, my twin spirit friend. I got jumped, and I'd be bleeding away in the void if I hadn't run off like a rat. They had their face covered. Not an overseer. Not grand guard. Someone from out of town, I think. Someone good. All our troubles, and now some masked stranger from across the waters? Spread the word. Howlers should be stiff for this one. Howlers should be stiff for this one. I guess on alert. It's an interesting way to put that. That's right, buddy. We've already met once. We might have to meet again. I'm taking all your pictures and your shrine. Amore. I remember that name. Hmm. In case you're wondering, Paolo's not one of those unhinged cultists. Who believe I will grant them favors if they leave a big enough offering or play just the right musical notes. He doesn't care a fig for me. But he put up this shrine because he found the hand of an old witch I knew once. And Paolo saw right away that it pays to have an edge. Sometimes pieces of us linger long after we're gone. The Duke of Zirconos inherited a vibrant city and wasted no time stripping it to the bone. What will he leave behind? And what about you? Who will you leave to pick up the pieces here in the Jewel of the South? Hopefully, leave it better than the way I found it. I don't know, though. Heavy pouch worth 30. Okay, at this point, I'm up to seven runes. I should spend something on something. Okay, where's the... Where's the... the right here. So this would allow up to three people. What's this? The duration lasts longer. Four. This thing has been so fantastic. I'm thinking about bumping this up. And I'm thinking about bumping this up too because I don't know, I might need more time to choke out three people. Although the stun mines work pretty good. Do this and if they're in a nice little group, I throw a stun mine down, it takes them all out. I'm at least doing this one. Okay. There's one, I'm proud of that. Man, I feel like I have bought so little. What do we got here? Pull objects towards you. Catch them in midair. Mm -hmm. Nah, I feel like that one's going to get me in trouble. Stealth walk. Domino. That one I'm still kind of curious about. Doppelganger. I don't know if a doppelganger like counts as like being spotted. You know, does that affect my chaos? If I'm using this a lot, people keep seeing the doppelganger. Throw objects further. Vitality. This one is you recharge. That was recharge health faster, right? But this upgrade, the portion of your health bar that regenerates is improved. Okay. And faster. Reflexes. Mm-hmm. 
I'm thinking of doing this one. The agility stuff would be nice to have. Rapid sprint allows you to escape out of sight faster if you are cornered. Jump further or rush to engage enemies. Less damage from falls. I have fallen a couple times. That's for sure. That has been a thing. I don't know what else to buy at the moment. Mm, what was this? There's another one here. Oh yeah, enemy roots? You know what? Let's do this one. Maybe that'll help me not be spotted as often. I'm curious to see how this works. Because I feel like my my little eye pulse thing doesn't go out very far. I'm so nervous that it's not going to help me spot routes very well just because I can't see very far. I'm going to get me some new ones, even if I have to pull them off a drum. Oh, there's a lot of people down there. Okay. So he's like right below me now. The dust district. Man, he's got a lot of paintings in here. I wonder if I can get to him. Shoot him maybe with a sleep dart. Hello. Kept the Grand Guard out of our homes. But I don't see how you can help the miners. It's all connected, Tivoli. Once the Abbey's off our backs, I'll make it too expensive for the Duke to run the mines. The workers stop digging, the Duke will see that mines producing at half speed are more profitable than mines producing nothing. For better working conditions and less dust in the streets, we'd be happy to up our payments. There's a way to satisfy everybody. First, in this district, then across the city. The people who work the mines have more power than they know. Thank you, Tom. One wrong word, and I'm stuck over here. What a racket. All right, let's see if he gets up, starts walking off somewhere. All right, where are you going, dude? I'm stepping away for a moment. Don't drink all the rum while I'm gone. Ooh. It's going downstairs. Oh. See. I think I heard somebody like right over here. Oh, below me. Okay. Oh, there's someone there too. Let's see what our friend looks like. Oh, what have we here? Uh, what's going on? Are we on the boat? Oh man, can I get both of these guys? <laughs> Look. Oh, he turned to rats. Um. Man, I was hoping if I put him to sleep, that that wouldn't matter as much. Read the journal for clues. Pele disappeared into a swarm of rats and resurrected himself elsewhere. To truly die, he must be killed twice in one day. But I'm trying to, like, not kill him, but neutralize him. Where'd he pop up at? Oh, shit. Whoop. Did you hear that? Hear what? Oh, there he is. He's up there. Oh. Okay, we're back on him. I got two stun mines. Hey, cow! Come fight face to face! Oh, wow, there's a bunch of these guys now. Rest up a bit. Ah, they've never agreed to it. Hmm. Okay, let's try this. Not in the mood. Show yourself. Uh. Am I seeing things? Come on. Come on, get in the window. I feel so 
empty right now. Come on! Let's have a fair fight! Wait, fight. look! I think her head is worth a fortune! Oh, crap. No no oh! You okay, stun mine. Oh, I'm gonna cut you into. You won't get away! Hey, take a deep breath! Oh, I can't! Oh, oh, oh. oh, I think I stunned myself. <laughs> Okay, I got Paulo down. Mm. What's the next best thing for like... I guess I could use this to blind him if somebody else comes out here. Alright, Ben's stun mine. Oh, yeah, baby! Oh! What? Oh! <laughs> had a mummified hand. I got a new charm out of that. What was this? Cornered animal. Your attack damage is significantly increased when your health is low. That one I think I can use. Knockdowns are much less likely to affect you. Yeah, we're going to put on both of these. That was wild. Oh, I did it. This is not the guy I was expecting to go after, but you know. All this talk about murderers and thieves. Isn't that what we're supposed to do? <sighs> like, how easy is it to parkour my way around without being seen? I feel like these guys look up a lot more than I would like them to. Whew, a long jump right there. Anyone steps out of line, I'm going to be the first to show up. Go crossed. No. Oh, I thought I missed the jump there for a second. Anybody in here? Oh, I'm doing it, guys. I'm doing it. Oh, here comes the dust. Another way to. Oh, no, no. I didn't want to put you down. Oh, can I climb down with him on my shoulder? I don't know if that's something I can do. I need to go that way. Okay, I see bodies over there. I feel like I do need to maybe go down. I don't see another way out of this. That window's covered. Oh, maybe. Maybe I can open this one. Nope. Nope, I can't. Okay. Well, before I carry him down there, I think I should probably go scope it out first. Just myself. Oh. <laughs> it's like bugged. I'm still on this side of the glass. Go through. Now climb. Someone's that way. Oh. Okay, let's see if we can climb with him. I hope we can. Fine. Oh! Oh, crap. That's bad. I'm going to be mindful of where people are at, though, because they are still... There we go. This is nuts, guy. <laughs> I hope I'm doing this right. Oh, you know what I have not done? At all. I haven't saved my game. Let's save my game. Okay. Let's see. It did ask if I want to climb. Oh. Emily's the strongest person in the world. Just call her the Hulk. 
okay? Basically what she is. Okay. I need to be going that way. Oh no, where's he at? Oh, I didn't, I dropped him. Oh, okay, so that's not gonna work. I'm glad I didn't get him killed. Can I? Guess maybe go down in a more controlled descent. Okay. Start going across here. Years ago, the mines were a good job. Stilton made sure of it. No one got fired for being injured. Yeah, so they say. The mining office handled things like that. Uh, the family committee made sure that the bosses never got too greedy. Understand me. Everything worked as long as one side didn't win out over the other. And that's exactly what happened once Stilton oh. disappeared. Oh, I'm so nervous. I don't know where to go. It's like a straight view of me. Okay. Did he see me? I don't think he saw me. Now we're getting somewhere. So close. Still no word from our sisters. Huh? What? Oh! Someone, Someone protect me! Anyone, guards! Someone! What are these two doing? I don't want to die! Huh? You don't what? stand a chance anyway. What's going on here? That we that. Who are these two? Are they running in here because of me? I didn't mean any harm. Wondering if I wake up. <laughs> okay, seriously confused all of a sudden. Uh, tell anyone oh. I saw you. What? You can't stay hidden forever. This won't go unpunished. I'm just if going for it. I'm the next one. I'll prove you wrong. <laughs> no. Come out no, wherever you are. I'm just running. Someone there. Good riddance. Hello? Uh. I'm dead. What in the boy just happened? Crap. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. Yo, dude, I, I got your body. This is not you good. You aren't going anywhere. You. Just what do you no. think you're doing? No, no, no. You come with me. Where am I? Gotta go with this. Let's see what Raise you've got. Pocket. Wait for my signal. What were you hoping, you fool? Oh. No mercy. Here. Oh, I know what agent This is not good. Wait for an you won't get me. I don't need you to the house. First of all, those two people came like running into that room. I don't know why they came running into the room. And then that just messed it all up. Cuz then the two guards came out. Came looking through the door. Then I had to And I went to where that dot was at, but it only took me to the building. I thought that's where the guy was at. That's why I went running. I was like, if I could run to him real fast, maybe that'll work. Okay. Um, I'm glad I had saved because I don't know where my last checkpoint would have been otherwise. Okay. Anybody in this area? We're going to see if we can find a... Oh, man. Oh, there's a there's a shop down here. You know what? Let's put him down. Let's see if we can hit the the black market. Guess this is. I'm not proud. There we go. Thank you, friend. If you're brave and you're looking to make some money, there's a back door to the Crone's Hand Saloon leading to the basement. Oh, that doesn't help me out much now, buddy. I appreciate it though. Okay. I will. Ooh. There's a big line of people here. Grand 
guard a bunch of shitbirds do. Shitbirds <laughs> all the way to the top. <laughs> oh! Oh, come on. How was I supposed to know you guys were like... Cut you in half. Here? Come back here. I'll keep that nice scar for yours. Yeah, I bet. Came in here to do business. There's something comforting about that. Yeah, I got something comforting for you right here. That was ridiculous. I assumed that we could just shop in here. Hello. Oh, you don't have much to say, do you? Uh, this is what I have for upgrading your equipment. Okay, that's fine. Uh, any chance carrying more stun grenades? Or stun mines? Uh, what's this? Each stun mine functions an additional... That extra charge has been nice. Mm, times two. I guess that means I could put down one and it would last even longer. You know what? I got all this money. I ain't really spending it, so why not? Okay. Gonna buy those. I'll take that deal. She's like, I'll take that. Oh, there's something interesting on this side. A map. Oh. That could be helpful. You know what? I might as well buy a couple of those. Stock up on those. <coughs> Yeah. Nice doing business with you. Thanks. And be mindful of who you're bringing in here and doing business with. Okay. I'll move them off the side. That almost went really bad. I'm so glad I bought that mesmerized thing. Okay, now we got that. Uh, was it a map? It said. Here we go. This will be nice once I get there. This is the manor. Okay, well, we're not going in there yet. We still got to drop off the body. All right. Nope, I didn't want to use that one. There we go. Okay. You're going to freak out now I pick up this body. Yep. That drives me nuts. Look at this, they're all freaking out. What? What? Alright. Somebody's yeah, not feeling well. Yeah, he I'm just taking him to see a doctor, that's all. Okay, so there's those two. We got a storm about to go through. I'm gonna see if I can go across this. Dead Harrison. Always goodness. Oh boy. Oop. Oh. You stand accused of actions Gosh. forbidden by the teachings of the Abbey of the Everyman. Given that each crime was witnessed or later verified by sworn and faithful overseers in good stand, oh. no trial is required. Okay, let's save. For theft okay, food, now that I've made it to here, sworn overseer of the Abbey in his duties, into where they're at, and I haven't necessarily been. Oh, he took them out. For the keeping of articles of a heretical oh. and fetishistic nature, for consuming the, the flesh of rats. Ooh. I faced worse than you. I will not do Ooh, here we go. If I could find me an open window, that'd be nice. It will bother me all the night. Okay, we're oh, vice overseer right here. Is there by any chance an open window up here somewhere? What happens if I locked from the inside? Bummer! That would have been so nice! 
Uh, oh, there were some people that just got executed. Because they were, <laughs> among other things, eating rats. Man, I feel like I'm so close and yet so far away. Can I? Oh, I can't make that jump. Let's see what we can see from here. Oh, I don't see any any open windows. Hmm. Wait a minute. That looks like there's an open window right there, don't it? Oh no, it's not open. Duke will topple soon. The sisters of the oracular order have seen it, and I feel it in my bones. So this stalemate with the howlers must be resolved. If we eliminate Paolo, there's no end to the influence we'll exert over Karnaka, over all of Sirkonos. A dozen overseers have died trying to bring Paolo down. We've struck him fatal injuries, and somehow he comes back the next day to fight again. Whatever witchcraft he has, even the ancient music is ineffective. Oh, do they got some of this here? Paolo is in possession of some unclean artifact. It's my fear that he has to be killed twice in one day. And the Duke won't help? The Duke is no friend of ours. He exiled me from the Grand Palace and he's done everything possible to push the Abbey of the Everyman out of Sirkonos. The look on his face oh. when he dismissed me from court. How do I get to him? There's something wrong with people who live in palaces for too long. Alright. I think they're done. Okay, it does look like there's some higher levels here. Can I get onto those? Aha! Oh, there's people right there. I don't know how to get up. Let's check this pipe. This is so much more difficult when I'm carrying a body. Oh man, they're all they're all boarded up. And there's no level to go up to. Thought I might have been onto something. Unless uh nope. Okay. Nothing over there either. Those dogs are what really got me kind of worried in this area. Okay. Let's set you down for a second. Now, thankfully, I got another stock of sleep darts here. Yeah. Oh, wrong one. Poor guy. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Come out, wherever you are. You can't stay hidden forever. Oop. And... Yep. That's two. You gonna go to sleep without me using a dart? I'm all for that. Okay, I see one guy. Okay, he's right there still. Aha, here we go. He, I think I got, oh, I think he pulled the dart out and looked at it. Okay, let's try it now. I think I got all the ones that are kind of like on the top. Oh, nope, there's another one. Uh, crap. But strictures. Anyone here? Show yourself. Oh. Oh. I need to go up. This is the stairwell I was missing before. Anybody else up here then except for who I need to talk to? Uh, hey, what happened here? I'll defy the white. Stop the Paolo's twisted agenda. 
Oh, oh, come on. I got Apollo here. You're so Who am I supposed to talk to? Okay. That was extremely irritating. I went in there with the body. And, uh... Apparently just walking in with the body is not good enough. Uh. Hello? Who's there? Good riddance. Okay. What do we got here? Oop. Okay. I know sometimes a guard goes walking by here. Are we not brothers? That's what I should have said. Now I feel remorse. Oh boy. Kind of stuck waiting here for a second. There we go. Oh, no. Walk. We will burn a bright fire with our virtuous actions so the others will not lose their way. Oh, I did it. Went around there quietly. Okay, it said to bring him the body. Oh, there's somebody right there. I didn't see the one coming through the window. She was quick. The one coming through the window. But we accounted for six of them. Wow, I can go up another level. You honor me. Uh I wish there was another way. But it's a gut wound, as bad as any I've seen. Better this than a day or two of agony. Okay. Not a word from the Neutral territory. It wasn't last time. <laughs> Not with that guy there. A witch on the throne. Should make a beautiful bonfire. Is this something I can go through? Should make a beautiful bonfire. Okay, before I make any more mistakes here, I'm saving. Okay, it said neutral territory, so we're going to chance it. Burn a bright fire without virtuous actions, so that others will not use that Paolo. This is unexpected, but... Oh! Must have been because I was being chased by guards the first time. Do you have any idea the good you've done? With Paolo out of the way, I've got big plans for Kanaka. I've heard about you and your ambitions, Vice Overseer Byrne. But for me, this was a means to an end. Does the Abbey remember its friends? Yes, we do. And our enemies. What is it you want? I need to get into Aramis Stilton's home. Now that's a curious thing to want. There's something very wrong with Stilton's house. It's actually a great concern to me. I need to know what happened there. Help me, and you'll benefit again. Thanks to the Duke, we've lost our proper place here in Karnaka. And we've been fighting just to hold the streets against the heretic Paolo. But you shut him down for me. And for that, I'll give you what you want. I'm listening. Interrogating one of the Howlers, we learned that some of them knew how to open up the Jindosh lock and to enter Aramis Stilton's home. Probably just Paolo and a trusted few. What you're looking for is probably connected to why the Duke had Karen Jindosh seal up Stilton's home. Oh, oh sealed up. This might be the most worthwhile visit I've ever paid to the Abbey. I'll remember your help, Vice Overseer Byrne. As will I, my masked friend. <laughs> Take our friend here away. Yes! Side with the overseers. Man, I would go around and like... Stick like, house is cursed. I see this key. Look after yourself. Durante's key. If I take that, will he get mad? Vice overseers report. The Howler's detained downstairs gave us key details pertaining 
to his criminal associates and their heretical leader, Apollo. Debauchery at all hours and acts of certain witchcraft, the likes of which ever our sacred music cannot dispel. Apollo is every bit as vile and corrupt as we suspected. With his dying breath, the detainee revealed that the Duke himself has Apollo sending food into the barred and shuttered homes of Aramis Stilton. Oh, so he might be alive. The place is kept secure by the so-called Jindosh. No doubt the Duke obtained the lock combination from Jindosh and Apollo passed it to the detainee. The weave of corruption is endless. No good comes from putting aside the strictures. Only madness and death. Remember that. I will remember that. Okay, I want to see if he gets mad if I take this key. Oh, thank goodness. I don't know if I need the key, but I'd rather have it and not need it than not need not grab it and then wish I had it. Is he looking? He's not looking. Huh. And... Huh. <laughs> Thank you for your contributions to the cause. <laughs> so this is like a... A friendly area now, right? Is that... Is that... Metal crate. Yeah, I think these people all be friendly now. Oh, thinking. Ooh, I got the one. Oh, I can't carry any more stun mines. Okay, well, this didn't exactly play out the way I had planned, but it definitely worked out. Wow, that's a big crate for just a couple bullets, guys. All right. Is there by any chance anything here? Oh, he might have something. Did you hide something in your room, even though you're, you're like against this stuff? Is it for quote unquote research? Look at that, I was standing right in front of one. Resounding shriek? What? That sounds odd. Howling bolts are louder and have a greater radius. I'll put it on because I got the space for it. I feel bad, it reminds me of the one dude I thought I was gonna hit him with a sleep dart. Blasted him in the face. <laughs> Poor guy. All right. Uh, I tell you what, this is where we're going to end this episode. On the next one, we'll finish seeing what kind of loot we can gather out of here. Make our way over to the bunker. Now, up until this point, I was like, I got a feeling we're just going to find him dead inside of there. But it sounds like they've been slipping food in there. Now, either there's a gigantic pile of food somewhere that just is rotting, nobody's been eating, or someone in there is actually living on that. I'm excited to see what's on the other side of that door, though. And hopefully we're going to find out on the next episode. Until then, continue to be safe out there, buddy. I'll see you on the next one.